So today I thought it'd be fun to do a get ready with me and catch you up with what's going on in my life and with my health. And I've got a date to go on with Matt. We're gonna go check out a Japanese restaurant today. So I thought I would take you along and let's catch up. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. Yes, we're gonna do a get ready with me. I love these because I get to catch you up on what's going on in my life, what's going well, what's not going well. And yeah, so pull up a seat, pull up a snack, pull up a snack, get you something to drink. I'm gonna take you out with me. Matt and I have a date today, so I wanna look kind of, you know, fun for him. We rarely get to go out on dates, so I like to take advantage of it. But yeah, so I thought I would let you know what's going on. Today is actually my mom's birthday. I took the day off, you know, I took a mental health day <laughs> and I just thought it would be good to celebrate her and just kind of slow down because things have been going super crazy. Uh, I know with the holidays quickly approaching, sometimes you just need to take one day or a part of your day and just relax and just breathe. Super excited today because it's very rare that I get to go out and get dressed up and I'm definitely gonna get dressed up, not just for Matt, but for me as well. And I got a new bag from Teddy Blake. I've worked with Teddy Blake before. If you're not familiar with who they are, they sell luxury handbags at a fraction of the cost, but they don't skimp on quality. They have the most amazing collection of handbags, shoes, accessories. I got a bag from them before and when I went out to dinner, my friends thought I had a Birkin. And I was like, ah, oh, this is better than a Birkin. It's a Teddy Blake. But they reached out to me and they said, hey, do you wanna share a, one of our newest bags? And I was like, excuse me, yes. So I picked out one of their bags. I think it's gorgeous, perfect for the holidays. And I wanna make it my all, you know, my everyday tote bag. I get in a rut, don't we all? I get in a rut and I always use the same bag over and over. But this one, I can't wait to, to carry because it just it's just a gorgeous bag of course it's made with italian handcrafted leather and you're going to pay for quality and not that expensive label and since i did that collaboration with them before and this was like a year ago they have added so many different styles i had the most difficult time trying to pick out a bag but I honed in on the one that's for me. Thankfully, it comes in so many gorgeous colors. I thought dark red was just perfect for the holidays and it makes a statement. I really like it. Yeah, I'll give you more information on Teddy Blake at the end of this video. I wanna talk about what's going on in my life. Now, a couple videos ago, I interviewed for the promotion. Well, I found out I didn't get it. And the curious thing is, Okay, so I work in a huge corporate office and technically when you interview for a job, they interview several candidates across the board and then they make their selection, they offer the position to that person and then they send out the emails, hey, thanks for playing, thanks for interviewing, you were great, but we decided to go with a different candidate. Well, I interviewed on a Thursday, I got that email Friday afternoon. So <laughs> HR doesn't, waste their time, but typically they're really slow. I could not believe how fast I got that email. So we thought it was, I thought it was just kind of fishy, but that makes me think that they already had their candidate. And I spoke to some of my coworkers and they were like, yeah, you were probably a formality interview, which kind of sucks because I kind of had my hopes up and I thought, wow, this is a great opportunity for me. I thought I did great in the interview, but you know what? It is what it is. I didn't get it. I didn't get the promotion. There's worse things I can think about, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I am. To be honest, I don't know if I'd be ready for a promotion. I don't know. I love what I do right now. It's just gotten really stressful, but it allows, the it allows me to have the time to do what I love, which is this, is sitting down with you, reviewing makeup, and had I got that promotion, I'd be working weekends, I would be working evenings, and I have a busy enough life, and I wanna have my weekends. Is that too much to ask for? But, so it was a blessing in disguise, and I think I dodged a bullet. I'm happy where I'm at, and I'm happy because I have my weekends and my evenings. Who wants to work on the weekends? Not me. 
Anyway, okay, wow, this foundation looks really nice. I just applied uh, for primer, the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24 Hour Pore Minimizer. This is such a fantastic drugstore primer. It just makes everything look so smooth. I hadn't used it in a long time, so I thought I would bust it out. And the foundation that I'm using today is the uh, new MAC Studio Radiance Serum, Serum Powered Foundation and I'm in the shade NC17. So let me tell you about the restaurant we're going to and where it's located. So if you don't know, I live in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and it's changed so much ever since I moved here almost 17, 18 years ago. And the cool thing is it's gotten so, it's still a small town, feeling but it's bustling and we've got so many different restaurants and there's apartments and homes actually it's getting built up a lot and a lot of people are moving to tennessee especially from the west or from up north particularly in nashville i know my friend lisa moved from arizona to uh, nashville and she absolutely loves it here anyway so this restaurant that we're going to is in a place called warehouse row and Believe it or not, it was the Marshalls, the Marshalls beginning of a fort during the Civil War. And then at the turn of the century, at the turn of the 20th century, it became a marketplace. So now it's a really old building, but they redid it, not redid it, but they uh, remodeled it, mm, refurbished it, whatever. I'm not an architect. And they made it into a really charming shopping center as well as restaurants are there. So there is a store that has, it, there's a cosmetics store too, not the cosmetics company store, but there is a makeup store that sells uh, RMS Beauty and ABH and By Terry, a lot of different brands that you don't normally find at Sephora. And I've heard RMS is really a fantastic makeup brand because it's made for and by mature women. So I want to check that out for sure. Poor Matt, he probably doesn't want to go, but too bad. <laughs> I did not bring a bronzer downstairs. So I, hang on. Okay, <laughs> ever since I started filming in my new space, which is our finished basement, and all my makeup is upstairs in my office, I always forget something when I'm filming and it just makes me crazy. And on that note, mm, I feel like the last several videos, I'm just going, oh my gosh, all this new makeup, all this new makeup, which is exciting. And I spent a lot of money during the Sephora holiday sale and I'm still getting stuff in the mail, still to this day. One final product came in. Like I said, probably need to get my head examined because I was swayed by the beautiful packaging and the promise and allure of luxury. I know, but you know what? It's been a long time since I've actually purchased a bronzer. Now, you know, my go-to bronzer is the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. And this one, whoo, hefty, hefty price tag. And I'm probably gonna regret it. It's the Gucci Poudre de Beaut. Okay. I know, my French accent is terrible. It is their bronzer. This costs a whopping $65. Yeah, you need to get your head examined. But it is so beautifully packaged. Do you get swayed by packaging? I do sometimes, but this, let me tell you something first. If you have, and I always tell my friends this, if you have an aversion to scent, you can smell the bronzer already. It, in the box, it has a strong floral perfumey scent and I haven't even opened it up, but it comes in this gorgeous little velvet pouch, but look at the packaging. Holy smokes. It reminds me of like Tiffany's, not that I could afford anything from Tiffany's, mind you, but it's just so beautiful and elegant. And then you open it up. I'll show you how, to, it, it's just so beautiful. I love looking at pretty things but you open it up and I was like, holy cow, that is gorgeous. And then it's got these little arrows where you twist it. I mean, it's like a puzzle piece. This is supposed to lift up. How adorable is that? And it comes with its own little brush. I know I kind of took a sneak peek at it, but look how cute this is. I am a sucker for packaging. 
I know, I am. And this is, what shade is this? Zero two, and I think it's fair, but I tried it the other day and it was super dark. So what I'm gonna do is go in, the reviews on this, of course, are outstanding. But remember the reviews on the concealer? That was a travesty. That was probably the worst concealer I've ever tried in my life. And I may return that because it was just so bad. They say it's very pigmented. It has a wee bit of shimmer. Let's just feel it first. Oh, it's embossed with, of course, Gucci on there. Gucci. And I'm gonna swatch it. And at first I thought, wow, that's super dark for fair. But according to the reviews, they say, go in sparingly. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush. Oh, it's such a shame. I don't wanna ruin it. Tap it off. And then I'm just gonna apply it right through there. Look how dark that is. Oh my gosh. And this is fair. Boy, I hope this blends out. And I did not put a lot on. I'm trying to blend that out. Oh, that is dark. Oh, I don't need more disappointment in my life. No, I'm just kidding. But this is, I bet we can blend it out. Yeah, honestly, this is a nice shade. It's super dark and it's super pigmented, but at the price point of $65, you're never gonna use all of it for real because this is super pigmented. You don't need to use a lot. I'm just hitting up through here. I just got my hair colored a couple weeks ago and the grays are already coming in right here. I did the temples, but yeah, I mean, would I recommend a $65 bronzer to you? Probably not. So, so far, this is pretty. You really don't need a lot. I noticed when I was swatching it this morning, it has a tiny bit of glitter in it. And not even glitter, like a shimmer to it. If I could compare this to a drugstore, it's a cross between the Essence Matte Bronzer. If you just sprinkled a little bit of the Physician's Formula Liquid Bronzer, if they had a baby. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. So I am bronzed up. This weekend, we plan on doing all of our shopping for Thanksgiving dinner. And I think we're gonna do something a little different this year. Last year, we had duck. It was so good, but I'm not sure if we're able to find duck at the grocery store this year. But you know what? It's not about the food. It's about getting together and spending time with our family. Our family has gotten a lot smaller now since my mom passed away. And we still have Matt's mom, Joyce, and she's fantastic. She's just been, I mean, that's the only grandmother Ava knows now. So we spend all of our holidays together. And yeah, oh, this is pretty. This is just the LYS blush um, that I picked up during the sale. Three for 20 bucks. And this is in the shade Self Love Shimmer. This is a beautiful rosy shade and it just adds the perfect amount of pigment. Nice. I want to go for a bold look today. I know, I'm in one of those moods. I'm in one of those moods where I just wanna daytime glam look, if there's such a thing. But that was the look I was thinking about when putting together this Get Ready With Me. And I'm gonna go in with the Xenon palette from Natasha Denona. I know, crazy, right? And I just wanted to do a super simple look. I'm gonna go in with Flurry on a fluffy brush and just kind of put it all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone. And you guys, I'm super excited to go downtown to Warehouse Row and check out that makeup company. I know, right? Especially when they sell brands that, you know, that aren't readily available, especially like at Sephora. I thought RMS, you could you could only just order it online. This way I get to touch it, I get to see it, I get to find the right shade of, uh, I heard they ha she has a fantastic concealer and uh, cream eyeshadows. So yeah, I am excited about that. I'm gonna go in with Snurt. Like I said, I just wanna do a really simple look. I know this palette looks really intimidating and repetitive, but I've actually been enjoying using it. Let's talk about TV and what I've been binge watching. I used to watch The Bachelor like 10 years ago, but you know, it got so old after a while, the drama and just the predictability. Is that a word? The predictability of, you know, the 
the fantasy room or what anyway it just was it just got so funny after a while but when they announced the golden bachelor i was like yo i gotta watch that and i am so glad i did i started watching it it is fantastic. You know what I love about The Golden Bachelor is you've got this handsome, is he what, 72, 74? Jerry, Gary, I, I don't, I'm really bad with names, but the women on The Golden Bachelor are absolutely stunning. I'm like, what? She's 75? Like seriously, these women, I've got to up my game. It made me love this show again because you've got women that are older, mature, gorgeous, but the biggest thing that I noticed about The Golden Bachelor, the camaraderie and the friendship and the support and the love between all the women, instead of them being catty, oh my goodness, like who is the one that's the retired hairstylist and she was doing everybody's hair in the house? I mean, I think that just comes with maturity and being confident in who you are. And that's what I love about our age demographic. We're kind of to the point in our life where we're pretty sure of who we are. And you know, with life experience, you just don't sweat the small stuff as much as we used to when we were younger. So that's what I love about being 56 years old. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Skift. I know this is like the weird, odd champagne shade in this palette i'm just gonna do like a light dusting and i'm just using my fingertips because it is a glitter but since there's natural oils in your fingertips it's gonna it's gonna adhere to your lids better without fallout really enjoying the golden bachelor i was binge watching it one night i fell asleep and then i there was like 16 women at the rose ceremony and then i woke up and there was only eight women so i gotta go back and backtrack but i know um he's already done the hometown uh family meetings and then i watched the um where they all get together all the women on the show and they talk about that one that episode was super fun but i guess the final episode is on november 30th so i'm definitely gonna watch that and see who he picks i just love that the women loved and supported each other oh i want to take a little bit of blizzard and just hit the bottom of right below the brow bone it's not glittery, it's not shimmery, but I want to lift that part of the eye. That looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara and eyeliner off camera, and then we're gonna finish up. Okay, eyes are almost done. I went ahead and tight lined my upper waterline with the L'Oreal Le Liner Mechanical Pencil. You know, this is one of my favorite drugstore eyeliners. This is in the shade, I believe, black. Yeah, I decided to go for really dark eyes today. And then I did a tiny little wing with the Maybelline Hyper Easy Liquid Eyeliner in black. I just thought it would tie the whole look together. This is really pretty. It's like I said, it's a doable, friendly daytime glam. And I think I wanna pop a little bit of, you know me, I wanna put a little bit of glimmer into the corner of the eye. If I have a brush that's, I don't have a brush. So I'm gonna go in with Rhyme and just uh, pop it right there, right in the corner, right there. Just a little bit, just to, oh yeah, just to brighten up the eyes. Okay, and I wanna go ahead and set my under eye area with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. Take a little bit on my brush and just press it in. Oh, this is fantastic. This is, I love this translucent powder. I believe it comes in yellow now, like a banana powder for brightening, but this is a great little setting powder. So for lips, you know what? I'm going to go for it. You know, that dark red, beautiful Teddy Blake purse. I'm going to match my purse. I have a couple of choices for lippies today. I got the Superstay Matte Ink from Maybelline, and this is the shade, good luck, baby. I don't know if I could read this. And oh my gosh, my glasses aren't even down here. That's what happens when you get older. You misplace things. Okay, I'll be sure to put all the names of the products that I've used down in the description box below, including the shades. But this is the Maybelline Superstate Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick, and this is the Maybelline Superstate Ink Crayon. I'm not sure which one I wanna use. I think I wanna try this one. Let's go with this one.
But here we are with the final look. I don't think I'm gonna curl my hair today. I want it to be silky and long and straight. I love doing, you know, putting a little wave in my hair to give it more volume because, you know, my hair is not as thick as it used to be when I was younger. So I think that's why I like to use a curling iron to give it some more oomph. But today I'm having a good straight hair day and I just use my regular hair dryer and a big round brush, but are with the final looks. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and we're gonna go to lunch. Okay. And we are back. Oh my gosh. Today was so much fun getting to spend the entire day with Matt and checking out that Japanese restaurant, 210 Jack. The food was phenomenal. I ended up getting a pokey bento box with uh, fresh tuna and seaweed salad and these grilled, were they grilled? Grilled Brussels sprouts that were crispy, crunchy, flavorful, I mean, this makes me wanna cook Brussels sprouts for Thanksgiving. I love my Brussels sprouts. And then there was also some dumplings in there. We also had these beautiful shiseido, shiseido peppers with these fish flakes, bonito fish flakes. And as you can see in the video, they're undulating, they're moving, they look like they're still alive, but it's actually the heat from the dish that makes them undulate and move. I thought it was mesmerizing and too pretty to eat, but there's also figs in there. There was also some peanuts. It was just the most delightful appetizer. It was so delicious. And then I had some green tea and I tried some sake that was flavored with like melon and apple. What an extraordinary experience. And being in, it, this restaurant was actually in the basement of Warehouse Row. And I had to go to the restroom and it was through this really long hall in the basement. You could see the rock built in there. I wish I'd brought my phone down there, but it was creepy. I felt this weird sensation. It, it was just very odd. Like I could feel the history of the building. Now remember, this was the Marshall Outpost during the Civil War and at the turn of the century, then they turned it into a marketplace. So you can actually feel the history in that building. It was amazing. Afterwards, we walked around and I had so much fun with my purse. It was super comfortable to carry. I felt like it fit right in my arms and it wasn't too cumbersome, you know, and I am only five feet tall. And so carrying a bag that suits my body type is super important to me. And I feel like it has just the perfect amount of room and space, not too bulky or cumbersome, but we went to go visit the cosmetic market, which they carried like Jane Irondale, Iredale, Jane Iredale, and RMS Beauty and Therapy and all these other beauty brands that you won't normally find in like a Sephora or an Ulta. In fact, RMS, I don't think you can buy them unless you get them, I guess, online. But right now, RMS is having a 30% off sale. I wish I just ordered it offline because this makeup is not cheap. So I ended up getting like a really popular concealer. 
her beautiful blush and one of her eye creams. So I will be checking out those RMS beauty products in an upcoming video. I hope you'll join me for that. Thanks again to Teddy Blake for the beautiful purse. The purse that I selected is called the Vanessa Palmoletto 12 inch and it's in dark red. It is the perfect tote bag for every day. You, you can feel the durability, but at the same time, how luxurious the leather is. Of course, it's suede on the inside and it's just smells fantastic. Remember, it's Italian handcrafted. They have so many different styles and different colors. It's just going to add that special something to your wardrobe. They have so many different styles. I'm sure you will find one that would meet your taste and your needs. And remember, they're having their Black Friday sale right now. You can get up to 75% off. I'm not kidding, 75% off. Definitely check out Teddy Blake down in the description box. I think you will find something that you will absolutely love, but I'm definitely in love with my Teddy Blake. But yes, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. I know I did. I love these casual get readies with me and just sharing a part of my life with you. Normally I do makeup product reviews, but today was great. I just got to relax, have some great food and some great company. But if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. But for now, mahal kita. I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.